uh, continue from the last quick save. Load a save file. And has it really been a month since I played, y'alls? I'm so tired, Leah. Uh, hello everyone. I'm not back back. Maybe I am back by the time this goes up. <laughs> I'm still in pain. I can't sit for long periods of time. Um uh we'll just jump right in. If you missed the previous part, make sure to check it out. Sorry for my absence. Now now we'll jump in. <laughs> at first glance, you don't realize Roos was uh far at all. There are no signs out front, so for the most part, it's just looked like a tall, spindly concrete building. Ooh. As I stepped inside... Oh, it's two. It's two. It's almost three in the morning. Okay. As I stepped inside, the, the ethereal music and lighting greeted me like always. The bar was pretty packed, or at least I was... The bar was pretty packed, or at least I was having trouble seeing any empty seats. But this wasn't some sports bar for normies. The people who gathered here were of a particular inclination that naturally resulted in, high, in tight crowds. Ray walked around waiting tables. Meanwhile, the manager quietly worked the counter. Oh, hello. I really like a lot of these side characters. He had an unusual hairstyle and always wore perfectly fitted uh, and always wore a perfectly fitted black shirt. Late forties, if I had to guess. As he crafted cocktails and washed dishes, he gazed around the bar. I never seen him get emotional or speak a single word more than was strictly necessary. Likewise, his smoke was a calm yellow color, like a da daffodil. The bar was furnished with all sorts of unusual decorations and paintings. Let's see these paintings from where I can see. You guys can probably have a better <laughs> look at than I do. Shields and tapestries with a magical motif. Porcelain dolls with cracks all over them. Accessories featuring eyeballs and holy crosses. Couldn't help but wonder where he bought this shit. Altogether, it in, eh, engendered a vibe that attracted those with its eclectic, eccentric. Oh my god, <laughs> a vibe. Altogether, it engendered a vibe that attracted those with eccentric tastes. I'm gonna have to blur out some stuff, but also artic artist. <laughs> this is the thing about YouTube and its rules. If it's art, like meant to be art and not at all arousing it's supposed to be fine everyone was welcome here that was the manager's attitude and so it became the dominant culture at, Ro at roost did i say roast last time my fault granted the barrier to entry was still pretty high for the average normie but for a, a fringe minority it was home Ooh, look at him! Look at him! Beautiful. What was I reading? Sorry. As I walked up to the counter and sat down on an empty stool, the manager looked up from his glass he, from the glass he was wiping. Toa-kun, waited a while. Actually, I had a little surprise. Okay. Ray, I heard about the booze. Oh, oh, I forgot about the booze. So, so, just wait a minute. He turned to the shelf behind him, grabbing a bottle and held it out for me to see. This is あぶさんっていう読もぎのお酒でいろんなメーカーから出てるんだけどこっちじゃあまり出回ってないやつをフランスから取り寄せたんだよでもこの味は苦手な人も多いだろうから進めづらくて十和くんならいけるんじゃない
perf 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 oh my god i know how to say this word perforated spoon on top of the glass and place a sugar cube on top of it as i watched curiously he hugged he grabbed a jug of water and slowly poured it over the sugar cube and into the glass apparently he was trying to melt the sugar so by the time the cube was nearly melted, the translucent green liquid has gone pale and cloudy. He stirred the glass with a perforated per <laughs> perforated spoon and then slid it over to me. Hi. Oh. Do so. Cigarette box. Oh, that's how it oh, okay. Sorry, I got distracted. Art. <laughs> I picked it up and took a small sip. The cold liquid slid down my throat, leaving a bitterness in my mouth not unlike herbal medicine. It tasted like someone put their lawn clippings in a juicer. It was bizarre and potent. He nodded, smiling. He <laughs> What's the AB? ABB? That would explain why it burned my throat. I could understand its lack of broad appeal. Oh my god, is what are you wearing? I'm used to the oversized, like brightly colored sweater. <laughs> I tell that here. As I was taking my second sip, I heard a familiar voice. <sighs> Ray strolled across the bar and sat down next to me. Though he was technically on the clock, he was allowed to sit and chat as long as I wasn't too busy. Hiru-te,タキダシのボランティア? <laughs> I shrugged off his teasing. He made a show of pouting. Of pouting. Wanna find out? God, I love the art so much. Look at him. Beautiful. Beautiful baby. Gingerly, he took the class like an anxious puppy. He leaned in to sniff it. Yeah. His unabashed disgust got a chuckle out of the manager. So that, eh? yeah, that's why it tastes like herbal medicine. <laughs> so it's plant juice. レイ君って植物嫌いだったっけ? なるほどね。不臭っていうのはどの生き物もだいたい似たような匂いを発するんだよ。鼻に残る嫌な甘ったるさがあるっていうか、人間も植物も動物も。The subject matter contrasts sharply with his bright smile. うん、店長って普段は温厚だから忘れがちだけど、やっぱりこのお店の店長よね。Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's cool sound design. Like something something's about this up. And so they put the music right at the back. Oh. As I talked an image rose to the forefront of my mind. The wound photo from Roost's blog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Flowing blood, exposed flesh, the sweet smell of decay wouldn't be too out of place. Denjo, I want to hear something. And see, now they push the music to the forefront. Oh, it's so good. Go ahead. Blog on the blog. Are you familiar with it? Ah, that blog. It was really good, right? What? What? The blog on the blog. I haven't seen that blog yet. Rei-kun, before the guest, please do a review. Oh, yes. Rei-ro's from a seat and walked over to the register. I'm going to talk about the story, but that blog on the blog. 僕の知り合いじゃなくて初めて投稿された作品なのそれで僕も気に入ったから作者のフレーズにメールしてみたんだけど連絡がつかなくて一応作品の投稿時にはメールアドレスの記入を必須にしてるんだけどステアドだったみたいでねメールが戻ってきちゃうんだよ、うん、ブログには載せてほしいけど。素性は知られたくないってことか多分そうだろうね連絡が取れたら店に作品を展示させてもらおうと思ってたんだけどちょっと残念だよねまあまた投稿があるかもしれないし僕も誰か作者を知らないか周りに聞いてみるつもり何か分かったらトワ君にも教えるね興味あるでしょまあなだと思った。Rooster and not just those with eclectic interests, but equally e eclectic artists who sought to cultivate a following. As a result, people often came here to get or give out contact info. お会計終わったわ。さっきの話の続き、教えて。Not much. Ray rushed back and eagerly linked both arms on the counter. Mise no blog, mite miro yo. Ah, so ka. Mazu wa soko kara yo ne. Ok. He pulled his cell phone from the pocket of his waist apron. Guys, <laughs> I started reading that in my head and was about to put it in there. I'm like, wait. <laughs> it's been so long. Ah, kono gazo ne? Do you ka to a kore ga ki nina ta no? これってリストカットじゃないのそう見えるけど違う違うの手首か何かを切った後の画像にしか見えないけどもし本当に違うならどうやって作ってるのかしら I sort of don't want to think about it, Ray, but I guess Tawa is gonna t r y She's just been thinking about it. <laughs> 今、トワ君にも話したんだけどメールアドレスがステアドだったから連絡が取れなくてねフレーズっていう名前しかわからない謎の作者なんだよ何それミステリアスじゃないちょっとワクワクするわね<笑> Sometimes I wish there would be like English voice acting just to see what the art like the voice direction would go to That's like kind of exciting. <laughs> Sometimes when he does this, I'm like, damn, boy. Very valley girl. <laughs> Ray shot me a meaningful grin. こういう人がモデルになるといいわね。せっかくあんたが興味持ったんだし、ぴったりじゃない。そううまくはいかないだろう。Um, I downed the rest of the bittersweet absinthe. Wormwood. So, da, Ray Kun. Kono Ida, Misediata, Body Art no Soda Evento. Okek Sankara, Kohio Dene. Eh, Hontoni? Okay, hold on. I like that everyone gets multiple outfits. <laughs> Does everyone get multiple outfits? I've seen him with quite a few, right? Oh, he's so pretty. <laughs> ah. それでね、定期的に開催してみようかと思うんだけど、レイ君さえ良ければ、どうやるわ
あのイベントいろんな人の話が聞けてすっごく勉強になったの Totally. It was super fascinating getting to hear all those people. Sorry. It's just gonna be in my head now. So, go to the next one. I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna go to the next one. Body art, also known as body modification, was one of Ray's other hobbies. Considering it was a hobby, he researched it pretty thoroughly, and he could perform all kinds of services from tattoos to implants. Wow. His work was highly acclaimed. Apparently, Ruth's recent body art consul consultation event was a huge hit, too. Oh, what's this? <clears throat> a few decades ago, body art was frowned upon in this country, but in recent years, it became accepted for people to augment their bodies. Obviously, tattoos were common, but these days, LEDs and IC chips were becoming mainstream, too. Well, uh, Some of the customers here had glowing fingernails or horns growing out of their forehead. For a lot of people, it was a fashion statement. So, let's go to the event. Let's go to the event. Tree and dishcloth in hand, Ray cheerfully walked off. Okay, right, before we start following this boy with his stumbling. Clues! I knew it. Warm road. I didn't check this last time. I was in editing. I'm like, wait, there's a tab there. <laughs> Old lady. And then. Uh, irregulars. Always oh, fussing over me. Carrying kind. He loves Annabelle. <laughs> Hates me. <laughs> oh, cool. Cafe. Mung. The manager. Oh, so it is like every person we meet. And I guess the ones that don't. Really are essential to the plot of the back. They want you to think that at least. <clears throat> Distractions. I stumbled down the street early the next morning after drinking at Roost all night long. Ray was worried about letting me leave, but I assured him I was used to it. Oh. This kind of thing happened all the time. That doesn't mean it's okay. <laughs> It wasn't rare for me to end up down here on the concrete either. He's a mess. I thought I was walking straight, but everything was spinning, and the next thing I knew, I was on my side. I felt a dull ache spread. 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 <laughs> I felt a dull ache spread through my body, but it didn't really bother me, possibly because I was so drunk. Now that I was lying down, however, fatigue quickly set in. I didn't want to get up again. My eyelids drooped. It felt like gravity was pulling me down hard against the ground. I guess this is happening. <laughs> With that thought, I closed my eye. <laughs> I forget he has an eye patch. <laughs> and because I was so wasted, it didn't take long for me to pass out. What disconnected? What unplugged? Something happened. That was weird. <laughs> Where are we, Toa? Where are we? Ugh, my head. The stabbing page made me grimace. Where am I? Forcing my sluggish brain to cooperate, I slowly reviewed the events of last night. I went to Roost, got drunk, and left. Then on my way home, I must have passed out on the sidewalk. Yet for some reason, I am now lying on a bed. This was not my room. And there was a weird smell. Not in an unpleasant sense, just very distinct. I must have smelled it somewhere before. Why are there so many plants? <laughs> As my mind sharpened, I sat up and looked around the room. Someone take my drunk ass in off the street? That is strange. 
I was wearing all my clothes and my ass didn't hurt. <laughs> oh my god. So apparently they didn't have their way with me while I was out. So someone just brought me here. Was it one of those past hookups? One of my past hookups. They bandaged you and everything. Look at you. Being taken care of. Hopefully it doesn't go further than that. <laughs> Unless you want it to. <laughs> Whoever it was had tucked me in, but I pushed the covers off and moved to get up. Until I saw the bandage wrapped around my arm. I didn't remember getting a bandage on my arm. Hell, I don't even remember needing a bandage. Oh, that's suspicious. Especially with the tattoo talks and body modification talks recently. I'm just like, <laughs> already? <laughs> Was this the work of the same person who brought me here? Oh, he did get cut. Look at you. I unrolled the bandage to find a four inch piece of gauze taped to my skin. Don't pick at it, please. Under that was a four inch long cut. When and where did I get this wound and who treated it? Confused, I tossed the unrolled bandage to the bed and stood up. Every time I moved, my head throbbed and my vision pitched sideways. There's so many plants. The room is clean and tidy with a table, a small sofa, a TV, a bed, and a dozen decorative plants. Oh, they're decorative plants. You can also see pruning shears, a, sp a, sp a spade, like the, okay, and a watering can. Whoever lived here clearly liked gardening. gardening. The potted plants were easily the best part about this place, and I could even see more of them lined up on the balcony. Okay, are they decorative, or are they actually real ass plants? <laughs> I was close enough about plants, so I couldn't tell what they were, but when I smelled that weird smell again, my attention narrowed in on them. To a novice like me, they all looked like the same kind of plant, so I couldn't tell them apart. Judging from their verdant leaves and bright blooming flowers, their owner probably took good care of them. Still, this was all only making the mystery even deeper. What was I doing here in this plant room? I could see a coat sitting folded on the sofa and I recognized it as mine. I grabbed it and pulled it on. Then I opened the door and walked out of the green leafy room into the hallway where I found even more potted plants. There were so many they took up half of the walking space. I progressed down the hall to the front door where I found my shoes lined up neatly. Seriously, what motive do they- uh, seriously? Uh, I can read this. Seriously, ser <clears throat> seriously, what motive did they have? Okay, I stepped into my shoes and left the apartment. Fourteen oh three. Briefly I glanced over my shoulder at the number plate. Fourteen oh three. No name listed. I walked down to the end of the hall and found an elevator, but decided to take the stairs instead, all the way down to the ground floor. As I passed through the lobby, I glanced over at the mailboxes. I spotted the one for 1403, but again there, uh, but once again, there was no name listed. Mm hmm. Uh oh. There we are, music. Once I was outside, I looked back at the building. It was a high-rise condo tower about 25 stories tall. Judging from that, this was probably District E. Unlike mainland Japan, high-rise condos in Shinkoimi rented for cheap, especially in District E. Looking at the endless walls of them, I could easily imagine why. Back in the heyday, Shinkoimi City officials ignored safety protocols to build enough housing for the new influx of residents. They were all built on unsteady foundations and they were packed, to, packed in so tight they'd scarcely get any sunlight living there. The building only got taller as you traveled closer to the ocean. Livability wasn't a high priority when the land itself was so limited. So in these parts, if you owned a single-story house, you were rich. I pulled my phone out of my coat and launched the GPS app to find out where I was. Marase Clinic was a 15 minute walk away. I quickly memorized my route, then dropped my phone back into my pocket and started walking. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> when I arrived at the clinic, I went upstairs to my apartment. 
Inside, the TV that I had left on had been switched off, probably Taku again. My clean laundry was sitting, sitting folded on the sofa and I got the sense he tidied things up while I was gone. I pulled off my coat and hung it over the back of the sofa, then I switched the TV back on and flocked back on my back. Flocked down on my back. <sighs> I grabbed a pack of cigarettes off the coffee table and lit one. My hungover had persisted since I woke up in a stranger's house and it ached with every heartbeat. I hope we weren't like... It wasn't a deep one if it didn't need stitches, right? I hope nothing weird happened. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly, I exhaled the cigarette smoke and lifted my arm into view. Yep, oh, wrong button. My brand new mystery cut was still oozing. I thought back to the strange apartment filled with nothing but plants. What kind of weirdo lived there? As curious as I was, I wasn't going to go out of my way to find out. Don't do it. <laughs> Smart. Smart MC. <laughs> We're gonna have to probably find out. I only taken a couple of drugs, but nonetheless, I pinched my cigarette between my fingers and put it out in the ashtray. My body felt like lead. I draped one arm over my eyes. Then I wandered into the darkness behind my eyelids. Ah, Ita! I'm here! I heard my door open, followed by a loud, cheerful voice that stepped into my eardrums. At least now I didn't have to wonder who it was. Two thirty p.m. I lowered my arm. I had draped over my eyes and looked in the direction of the voice. I didn't pay attention to the time before. Ray and Taku were standing there in my room. Ray set his large tote back down on the coffee table with a thud. Don't look down at me. <laughs> Taku walked over to the sofa and crouched down to check on me. They're so worried. Uh, not the flickering again. I'm not okay. Kino <laughs> With a catty quip, Ray pulled out a series of plastic containers and set them on the table. Apparently they were here to eat lunch with me. Whenever Ray cooked for us, he would always eat it up here. Togu rose to his feet, walked into my... Sold them used kitchen and fetched us a bunch of stuff. Plates, forks, spoons, and bottle drinks. At Ray's prompting, I slowly set myself up. My head still ached, but not as bad as earlier. Oh damn. Food porn. Why is there so much food porn in this game? That looks good. Okay, hold on, guys. There's gonna be like a quick cut here. I need to walk around. I've been on my butt for like 30 minutes. I hurt. I hurt. Ah, these group photos. They're so good. Ray picked up his spoon and started eating. Taku took a bite, then immediately looked at Ray. More. Look at this boy. Ray shot me a hopeful look, so I picked up my spoon. Just wait. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I miss something? Before- oh wow, that's cool. Like, if you go up, it actually stops the whole thing. Okay. Before I could take a bite, Taku stopped me. Oh, you can see his wound from here. Is it the new one? Yeah, right? 
Or is it an old one? He's covered in scars, so I don't know. He had the fresh cut on my arm. Ah, oh, man, before he ate, let him get, get a bite in, man. <laughs> Spoon still in hand, I offered him my arm. He took it and gingerly pulled it close. Did you get stabbed? Did we get stabbed? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> え? The two of them stared at me wide-eyed. <laughs> yeah, exactly what it sounds like in a random condo, right? <笑>誰かに連れ込まれたのか他に被害は何も別途に寝かされてこの傷ができてたくらいそれって泥酔してわけがわからないうちにやられちゃったってことえ意味がわからないんだけどつまり酔いつぶれて目を覚ましたら知らない部屋のベッドに寝ていて覚えのない怪我をしていたとその部屋は全然覚えがないわけ心当たりもない部屋には誰かいたの うーん。誰も。え、何それ? なんだか気持ち悪いわね。怪我だけで済んだから良かったけど。お前、本当に気をつけろよ。道端で寝込むなんて襲ってくださいって言ってるようなもんじゃないか。They both seemed incredibly worried for my safety, but not me. He has good friends. <laughs> he has good friends. He has no self-worth here. <laughs> he has. Oh god. This man, if I got raped, then I got raped. Yes. Mm. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Big old mess. And so the two of them started eating at lightning speed. <laughs> but before I could finish, Ray whipped his head around to glare at me, his mouth full of curry. いや、フルに言ってるの。とは前にも傷を放置して可能させて熱を出したことがあったじゃない。小さな怪我だからって甘く見てると危ないのよ。特にとはそういうのいい加減なんだから。どうしてできたのかわからない怪我なんて怖い